hello everyone and welcome back to my channel I've got another video for you today um, and I'm going to be using Madame Glam products today and we're going to be doing a neon set I've wanted to do this ever since I had the neon unity collection um, but I just haven't got around to it and I absolutely love this collection and all these neons so I thought yeah I have to get something done so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm putting two coats of this glittery white called blessing on all of the nails so I'm only showing you me doing one coat and then I'm going to start off with the neons. So the first one I'm using is Rose Glitz and this isn't the brightest pink. This is like sort of more like a neon purple, I would say. And I'm putting like one coat of that on and I'm just sort of gradually sliding it up the nail. Um, I'm not, I wasn't really sure at this point exactly where I wanted it to go up to. Um, and then I decided to get my detailer brush and just do some little lines upwards into that wet gel and it just helps it. I didn't want it to fade completely. I wanted it to be like a little bit spiky. So this is just the first coat. I'm going to put another coat on and do exactly the same, but I'm going to take it up a little bit higher. So this is just the first coat and this is what's going to get done on all of the nails apart from the middle one. So the next colour I'm going to use, because um, I wanted to use, you know, the brightest colours and I wanted to use the glittery ones. So the next one I'm using is Sizzling Lime. This is a neon green and it's not the sort of colour that I'd usually reach for, but in this set I just knew it would go really well. So I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm putting it on and then I'm using the detailer brush just to put some um, lines through it. And then I'm using Shine On, which is the neon pink. And this is actually my favourite one. I kind of wish that I'd put this on the um, on the pointer finger now. But I did put it on the thumb. Um, but I don't do that on camera. So I'm going in with the second coat now. So I'm just doing exactly the same. But I'm putting the gel a little bit higher up. And I'm just doing exactly the same again with the detailer brush. Sort of bringing it up. And through that gel so it makes like little spiky lines. So my nose is a little bit blocked up today. I don't know if you, any of you suffer with hay fever, but mine has always been bad ever since I was about five years old. I've had hay fever terribly every summer. Um, it doesn't affect me if I go abroad, but in this country, in the UK, it's just terrible. But recently, I've heard a hack that if you sting yourself with nettles every day, it actually cures your hay fever. So has anyone heard that? And has anyone done it? I've actually been doing it um, because near me, there are loads of stinging nettles and I walk past them anyway. So I thought I'll just see if it works. So I'm on day three now and it's not made a difference. So I'll let you know in a month and <laughs> see if anything's happened. So anyway, back to the nails. I'm using Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat and I'm going over all of the nails. That's because we're going to be doing some nail art on these. So that gets cured for 60 seconds and so do all the gel polishes. So every coat of gel polish I've put on, I've put in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm using Madame Glam's white gel paint with the Ultra Liner. If you watch my last video where I got the gel pots, I got a new Ultra Liner and it's so much better than the other one that, um, that I had. It's exactly the same brush, but um, I must have left gel on it, the other one, and, um, and I damaged it, so I wanted a new one. So I'm just painting zebra stripes onto that pink gel polish. And I'm going up sort of in a diagonal and that's for the pointer finger. But then when we get to the ring finger over the green, I'm using the white gel paint again, but I'm going in the opposite direction. And then when I get to the pinky finger, I'm going in the same sort of right hand direction as the pointer finger. I hope that makes sense. So the key to zebra lines is... Uh, you sort of wiggle your brush a little bit. So if your hand's a bit shaky, this is a really good um, gel polish design to do because it's not meant to be, you know, completely perfect straight lines. They're meant to be wavy. Um, so yeah, if you're not that good at hand painting, I'm trying to practice, but if you're not that good, then this is a really good thing to start with. So I don't show on camera me doing the pinky finger because it's just exactly the same as the pointer finger and I didn't want this video to be really long. 
So I do flash cure this every few sort of um, lines that I do with the little lamp um, from Madame Glam. And then when I've cured all that fully for a full 60 seconds, I'm using the black gel paint on the middle finger and we're going to do some leopard print on this one. Now what I was trying to do was I wanted smaller um, print at the top and I wanted it going bigger towards the free edge of the nail. And then when all the black lines are done, sort of the outline, you can leave it like that, but I wanted to fill it in with some neon colours. Obviously no leopard anywhere in the world looks like that, but I just thought, let's let's have a go. Obviously there's no neon pink zebras either, but wouldn't that be brilliant? But that's what's going on for my set today. I wanted it to be a little bit different. I've done black and white before. So as usual, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe? I'd love to have you here on my channel. And then if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. So I'm using the detailer brush with just the colours that I've used already in the set. So the green, the neon purple and the neon pink. And they're going in the middle of those leopard print bits. And when that has had a full cure for 60 seconds, I'm then going to go in with the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat and I'm going to put that on all of the nails. So we just want to seal all of that nail art in. And I really love this set. I'd seen something similar um, on Instagram using sort of a bright colour as the background and then the white zebra stripes and I really wanted to do it and it does really make it pop when it's neon. I think it, I, I think it looks really good. I'd wear these on my nails. Would you wear them on yours? I think these would be really good for holiday nails, you know, when you want something really bright and you're in all that sunshine. They would look really good next to the pool. So I don't show you me doing the thumb on camera because I'm going to do that um, as a short for Instagram. So you'll see that over there if you want to see me do that. So this is how they look when they're all finished. So you can see the glitter of those neons. I think it just adds an extra little something. And you could have them matte if you wanted to. But I really wanted to see that glitter, so I wanted them shiny. So let me know what you think in the comments. Links to everything that I've used in this video will be in the description box as usual. Um, and I will put a link to Madame Glam's website in my description box. You can get 35% off at Madame Glam using my code that's on the top of the screen. That'll also be in the comments and the description box as well. So that is it for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just